Hello, there we go. I muted myself. Look at that, crazy. Welcome back to Ratropolis. Uh, I think we're navigated today, right? Probably. And my quest for a high score continues. Indeed. How's it going today? What's, what's popping? I'm going to clear my throat one moment. I should have done this while I was muted. Excuse me. Oh, God, Ratropolis froze. And it didn't auto-mute. What am, what am I looking at? What is going on? Ah, there we go. Never mind. Good thing I didn't clear my throat there right off the gate because it didn't mute. Well, give me a moment here. I will now be handling that. Retropolis froze and it like locked OBS from utilizing my key bindings, I guess. I don't know. Let me get a little closer here as well. Hey, how you doing today? Though? What's going on? Happy uh, Thursday, right? It's, it's Wednesday today? Thursday for yourself. How's how's your week been? Closing in on the end of the week. Let's go. Hell yeah. If you're even existing in a normal work week sort of situation anymore. I don't know. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, a little, a little later than I normally record, but you know. Not too much later. I just, I overslept like crazy today. So what I've been doing is, in an effort, basically to try and wake up earlier, I just set an alarm for 12 o'clock every day. And then when that alarm goes off, it wakes me up and then I go back to sleep. And then typically I'll naturally wake up again in like 30 minutes and that's when I'll get up, right? So I'll wake up the initial time and I'll be like, oh, I'm too tired to get up. And I'll fall back asleep and then naturally... Like 30-ish minutes later, I'll wake back up. However, that did not happen today. And instead, I slept another two hours. And so, you know. What can you do? I mean, I could just build up the willpower to just get out of bed when the alarm goes off. But it's to the point. Leader levels, five cards, three economy cards. No, no, no. I sleep, I'm to the point where it's like, yeah, if I... I don't even remember hearing the alarm go off, really. Like, I'm, I'm sure that what I described is how everything happened. However, I don't remember it because that's just how I am. I like, oh, I hear the alarm, I wake up, I go, yeah, no way. And then I just go back to sleep. I just kill the alarm and roll back over. And, uh, you know, either way. I'm not, I'm not stressing it too much, more or less. But, yeah, other than that, you know, not much today. I did, actually, something interesting happened to me today. I checked my email, and I got... I, I, this is a pretty big milestone for myself, I would say. Although it's not that big of a deal. You know, it's like, oh... But I got my first ever sponsorship offer in, a, in an email. A company reached out to me, and they went, hey... Would you like to, here's, here's what the sponsorship entails, Here, here's where you can go to accept our sponsorship. Oh, this sucks. Take the building card. Yeah, mine's fine. Oh, shield rat, I should probably take, but I, stick to the plan, stick to the plan, stick to the plan. This is how I deviate from the plan and throw the run. But then again, if I don't take this shield rat, I could find myself getting run over. And slinger too, like this is, this is actually a pretty tough choice. I think that... Uh, I will take Shield Rat. If I get the event that shows gives me Shield Rat randomly, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay. <laughs> I saw that event pop up. I got a little angry. Just just in case. But no, I... I don't know what, like, standard fare is for sponsorships like this. Like, I'm, I'm not in the business. I'm pretty... I like to think I'm pretty transparent with you guys who are watching the video, though, right? I think that I'm... And doing a good enough job of maintaining a level of being genuine with you. I'm not gonna... I value my relationship and your interpretation of me more than I value uh, the money. I think I'll pass. And... The sponsorship offer it wasn't for anything. It wasn't for anything crazy. It wasn't like, oh man, Raid Shadow Legends has reached me, reached out to me. Because let me tell you, Raid Shadow Legends reaches out to me. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. 
the hottest new mobile game. Can you imagine if that was actually the sponsorship and I just went into a 30 second ad read right here? Holy shit. Uh, Ratropolis episode 178 is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. The hottest new mobile game on the market. No, I, I feel like I will probably never see a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship considering how much shit I've talked about that game. It's not even shit talking, honestly. I think the game's good. Like, I've, I played it and I think it's good, but I would not recommend it unless you're certain of your ability to control your spending habits. Because that game, much like every gacha game, will suck the life out of you if you allow it. It will take you for thousands of dollars. But from what I played of it, and I don't know this because I don't play gacha games very much, but the game seems fine. Like, it doesn't seem like it's that bad of a... Like, it didn't seem that predatory. The only... I, I played for like a month and felt like I was making pretty meaningful progress and had things to do for the entire month. I never even came close to running out of uh, energy to play the levels or things like that. And I didn't give them any money. I just, pay, I just grabbed a referral link and went at it. And like, every time... I'm, oh my god, I tell you... I got in on that. I got in on that raid Shadow Legends action. Like, I don't know. I think I think I played around January, and the referral bonus was like an epic champion and fifty thousand in-game currency. And you know, you hear fifty thousand in-game currency. First of all, you hear that number and you go, "Wow, fifty thousand! That's a lot of in-game currency." But then, in reality, it was like you know, it's a de it's a good it's a good amount to get you started, but you're not going to be making a whole lot of progress with that. Like, it's not. It's enough to maybe upgrade some of the armor to like decent levels. Like it's 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 enough, right? It's it's not terrible. It's just like fifty thousand sounds like a lot by design, I'm sure. But the only the only downside, please, please, am I? There we go. That butterfly did not want to get caught. No, the only the only thing that I could say is that man, when you whenever you open the game, you have to click through like. 15 advertisements like there's so many ads that pop up that are like hey buy this buy this buy this buy this can i take crossbow on this map i mean not really yes but no but yes but no you see what i'm saying here I'm like, I'm on like three levels of conversation here because I got to make this decision, then finish my Raid Shadow Legends, then finish my sponsorship. So just saying this out loud so I keep my place in the conversation while I make this choice because this is a prime choice right here. Crossbow Rat. Ugh, you know? Pike Rat. I think, so if I would take Pike Rat, I would take Crossbow Rat. I think Crossbow Rat's better than Pike Rat and I don't think it's very close there. Would I take Missionary? No, because I don't understand the bug that causes Shield Rat. I think it's a bug with Rally that causes Shield Rat to not get missionary. But Missionary and Medic are in a very similar position on this map, and I am thinking about that Wave 20, right? And you may be thinking, oh, well, shouldn't you just survive to Wave 20 and then think about that? And the answer is no, not really, because, like, I need to make sure that what I'm taking is going to be strong enough for the rest of my life. I think I'm going to take Crossbow Rat. It's not going to be strong enough for the rest on its own, but... It's going to be enough to carry me through to a point where I can probably win, right? When the fire arrows land and the fire blots out the sun. Where will you be? But no, it's, it's probably fine. And then I'm going to obviously need something else. This shield rat, crossbow rat, guards does not instill me with the most confidence. However, it instills me with a little more. Ooh, shock. Yeah. I could pivot to skills, right? I'll take shock. I'll keep that line open. Not bad. But no, Raid Shadow Legends is alright. Like, if, you, if you've ever been like, because uh, I, I, I should really make a video about this, right? Because I see all of these videos that are like, I tried Raid Shadow Legends and the game was garbage. And those videos get like hundreds of thousands of views, if not millions of views. And then they're always like, haha. Like I, I love I love this stance that these YouTubers take where they're like, haha, I would never compromise my integrity with Raid to, with a sponsorship from Raid Shadow Legends. Or or the other the other side of this is they go like, Yeah, well, I value you guys more than I value uh, pushing a shitty product to you right i'm burning a bridge i could be taking this money but i'm burning this bridge with raid shadow legends for you my viewer 
And look, I respect this opinion. You're allowed to say whatever you want on the internet, but like, come on. Don't act like you're making some ultimate sacrifice by not taking a Raid Shadow Legend sponsorship. It does like, because it's also, it's like, now you're belittling the people who do take Raid Shadow Legend sponsorships. And like, you know, it's great that you have the opportunity to just take whatever sponsorship you want, but not every content creator gets that sort of an opportunity. And if someone's like doing this full time and they get offered, I don't even know how much for Raid Shadow Legends, why would they not, right? It, it, just make that money, dude. Who cares? Really. But that's that's a whole different subject, you know. The whole mightier than thou, holier than thou sort of take on sponsorships is a is an interesting one. You can take whatever stance you want, but like at the end of the day, I don't know. It just it feels weird to be like, haha. Well, I don't take sponsorships, so therefore, like even though they don't outright say it, it's like there's an air of I'm better than you because I don't take sponsorships, you know. And I think that's kind of shitty. Ah, oh, Duckling Rider. Probably, right? I mean, god, we're at 25 population? This is doomed. Now, at the same time, I uh, don't think that you should be taking sponsorships that you don't necessarily align your interests with. Cleric's not bad. Let me, let me finish this take, and then... Well, let me, let me finish this decision here, which I believe is... An upgrade on crossbow, or... I kind of feel like we're moving towards skills. I'm going to take specialize. I don't think you should take a sponsorship that your interests don't align with if you're taking something completely off-brand. Uh, why? Which leads me to my final point, which is... One moment, my headphones have died. I will conclude this thrilling story that I'm sure you're on edge to hear about once I replace this headphone battery. I'm going to cancel. And I'm just going to... Gonna hit redraw before I turn around here. Get rid of those. All right. The conclusion to my thrilling story: what you have waited presumably twelve minutes of your life to hear. Who offered me a sponsorship? It was a hard cider company. I'm not gonna tell you their name because I don't know it. But it was like, a, hey, here's here's the outline. If you drink our hard cider on stream, leave a call to action, put some artwork in your down below channel area, and all of this uh, will give you money. And oh, hey, we got banner in. Wow, I'm good at this game. <laughs> God, I'm good. I have nothing against the alcohols. However, I don't drink, and so. I feel like it would be very disingenuous. It's like uh, one of one of the parts of it was just drinking hard cider on stream, and I'm like, shit, dude, I think I'm gonna do that. I don't even drink hard cider off stream. I, I'm about that water life. But no, it was it was nice to be like, it was nice to get the offer though. Like I really I do, you know, feel feel pretty good about that. I'll be honest. It was like hell yeah, someone uh, sent out a an. Invitation. I'm gonna take some houses here. Someone, someone saw my content and went, "Yeah, we should offer this guy a sponsorship." Now, also, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm fully aware that there's a decent chance that they didn't see my content and they just like sent out a mass email to everyone over a certain size. I was like, "Hey, would you like to apply for a sponsorship? Go here." Because I didn't, I didn't follow the link. It may just be like, "Oh, apply here for our sponsorship." But either way, like, hey, I uh, I ticked I ticked some sort of box, and I'm pretty sure they found me through YouTube because I got an email to my YouTube email, like the the email account that is associated with this uh, channel, which you know is not my my business email because I set up one like an actual business email for contacting me for like things like this because you know just in case and i sign up for uh, I, I, mainly the one thing that i really made it for is i signed up for the humble bundle affiliate link and also i signed up for partnership with the guy with the team the community management team for retropolis which i still haven't heard back from about so i'm just guessing i didn't make it but you know whatever I, the I don't, I don't, it's just, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to say that I'm one of the only people making content for this game at this time. That's not true. But like, there's not a lot, you know. 
I didn't really expect there to be much competition, but I don't know what's going on with that, so who am I to judge? Honestly, what would a Ratropolis partnership really even mean for me? I don't know. What am I going to do, make Ratropolis videos? Oh no. Like, but that's the sort of thing that I would seek out, because that's like, that's... Uh, Ratropolis videos, hey wait a minute. Content involving Ratropolis, maybe some sneak peeks, I don't know. But the, I, I think I'm one of the few people making content for this game in English. I've seen a lot of... Uh, like I've, I've seen, I think one was in Polish. There's a guy who makes videos for this game in Polish, and... Uh, what's what was the other one? I don't remember. I thought there was another one that I saw making regular videos. Oh oh, there was a there was a dude making videos in French. Burst. Okay, I now have to make my decision. Which way am I committing? What do I commit to here, ladies and gentlemen? I must make my choice. There is a time in every man's life where he has to choose. Who am I? I'm gonna theoretically lose this run to do this, and I'm okay with it. We're gonna take experiments first, and we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Oh, I have specialized mind specialized. Oh, oh, oh! I don't even have to spend a bunch of money for this. Okay. We will see how this works out. Like I have I have the fallback plan of just banner at guardsing, but. Uh, it's probably gonna be bad. We'll see, right? Until I until I'm able to set up, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to. It's it's just it's weird because it's it's weird. Here's a Potter. I just I need a little more time to get myself settled in here before I can, with certainty, uh, stick it to the man, if you will. I need to. Because the problem is that my income is too low to do this. That's that's the big hang-up right now. I have this experiment, and I'm going to try to make it work, right? I'm going to need a little... So experiments, 40 gold every use. Specialize, 186 gold every use. If I am specialized experimenting, this is a total of 198 cost, so I need to play five experiments to start making money. I need to have five specialized uses banked up before I can start making money off of experiments specialized. And that's going to be my income plan, by the way. It's going to be specialized experiments, a bunch of money, and then turn that money into uh, victory. Turn that money into specializing everything else. I'm going to maybe hold out and try to find ourselves... Like, we, we, have, we have a win. Don't get me wrong here. Don't get me wrong. I have a win. Wait. Why am I doing this? I could just win the game. What am I doing? Like, this is so complex, and for what? I don't even know. I guess I don't necessarily win the game right now, right? I'm gonna keep playing out units, and I'm gonna keep taking population. I'm getting so much from this graveyard. But I, I don't need to do the specialized experiments. Bullshit. I'm going to. Because here's my here's my reasoning. I, since I'm still hunting for that high score, even though for some reason my scores don't get uploaded, I'm not sure about that yet. But you know, regardless, slums. Oh, if I'm hunting for the high score, I gotta take slums, right? No, I don't because I have the specialized. So I will not. Oh no, I'm a fool. <laughs> I forgot to specialize before I clicked the mine. <laughs> ah. Oh hey, we got relic. Now, I don't have a ton of upgraded cards right now, but when I get them all, this will make me more money than experiments will, I think. Do we have enough time to do everything I'm trying to do here, is the question you may be asking, and the answer is I have no idea. Probably because of the banner rat, guards, shield rat that we have going here, we're good through wave 20. Especially with these two crossbows, which will help thin out the other part, the bad part of... Wave 20, where the units stack up under the boss. The crossbows will thin that out quite a bit. But no, I have no idea. The house? I need to stockpile gold. I just need to take as much money as I can. Would it be cruel to put down a guard just to shock him? Yeah, that would be cruel. Can I shock these pop- can I shock- no, okay. If, if they would let me shock civilians right now, I would absolutely shock these civilians for money. 
It's like, you know, this maybe is one of those like, oh, well, is a morality question. Oh, would I would I electrocute my civilians for extra income? And the answer is absolutely like not even I, I wouldn't even think twice about doing it. The only thing stopping me is the game. Economy cards for money, 20 population, remove four. Nah, nah. Well, my problem is right now is I'm not committed, right? I need to commit one way or the other. I think I'm just going to set up enough to survive, and then we're going to commit. Money? I will need to take a house eventually so that I can fill out the entire world. But I'm just going to stockpile. We need the mine to be ready, and then I just need to draw, specialize with experiments, and then we will make money. And I'm doing all of this... Like, I guess I'm just doing this because I want some variety. I don't really know why I'm doing all this. Hey, I drew specialize. Let's go. 40. I have to, I have to let the specialize get played before I relic. Here comes the money. And I did not draw shop. I mean, okay, if I'm gonna commit, I need to remove... Uh, actually, I'm gonna remove Relic, I think. Do I have experiments in hand? I have experiments in hand. I'm gonna remove Relic. I think this is gonna make me more money, as it turns out. I just, I've stockpiled enough. I think this is enough money. Ball machine? Sure. Give me a house here. Thank you. I feel like maybe they should speed up the rate at which the wheel spins. I don't know. Really not. Nah. Okay, we're now earning money with experiments. Although not much, to be fair. I can get to, what, six? So this isn't great income? I guess it's okay. I need to stockpile, like, probably... This is this just... It's not enough money. Hey, don't kill my shield rats off here. Hey, I need that. How are they doing? I need to play some more of these. Like a few more, just to be safe. I don't want to lose anything here. That's probably enough. Okay. Like I, I think I need reuse. Oh yeah, we're doing a spat. We're doing a. Oh god, what have I done? Two ten. So relic makes me barely enough money. Like it's not good enough actually. Experiments is the only way I make money. Sure. Legendary card. I wish I could get reuse off of this. I think I'm gonna pass this actually. Oh wait, no, I take agate. Yeah, and then I just specialize a bunch of these out. I just I need to stockpile money. That's all. It's in my discard, by the way. Experiment specialized shield. Okay. Just checking if there was something good for me to use in there. I need mo I need so much time. Like I need I need like a lot of time to make this really pop off here, but do I have time? Not really. Not right now. I don't really have time. If I can grab a play economy cards or play skill cards quest. Nope. Like if I grab a quest like that, it ends pretty quickly. We have, we have a lot of population to play out here. I have some time as well. Uh, I have five cards, so what I ca oh I can I can I can do something like this right, and then I mine back the specialize and specialize it, and then I can play out like guard specialize for example here, just to just to make sure I don't die right. I think this is a good idea just to build up my army enough that I can hold on. And essentially, this army is going to be a fallback army. And I guess I'm doing the specialized combo just so that I uh, can play out all my units, right? Because otherwise it would be tough. Could use a wall here. Removal. <sighs> just give me money for now. Let me let me get settled in here. We'll go up to we'll go up to fifteen ten on either side, and that'll be enough for now. I hope. It should be enough for now, right? And we got we got a little time. I'm I'm still not sure on the score front if I want 
longer runs or shorter runs? I'm pretty sure you want sh longer runs and not shorter runs. I think you take time penalties for your run being too short. However, I'm not sure on that. And yeah, you can see how fast I'm burning through all this money, though. Like, I need I need something way better than what I'm doing here for income. I'm gonna redraw, and that'll be that. Oh god, my shield rats. Oh god, the bombs. Oh lord, we're gonna, we're gonna lose this. We're, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh no. I just, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money to do this. I mean, I think I just get rid of the skills. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't have the money. I don't have the money to do this skill bullshit. Nothing good here. Ah, it's just, it's rough. It's real rough. I really wanted to do this with skills, but there's no reason to. Remove shock. Here's what I'll do. I'll remove shock and maybe it'll give me a better skill. I'm kind of sad. I really do want to do a run with like all the skills, but it's hard to. It's really hard to. Without reuse, it's hard to. I should asterisk there. Without a reuse is where it's difficult. I could go for Bounty Hunt. Bounty Hunt will make me, like, no money, though, because this is the desert. I'll be making, like, what? How many enemies are even spawning on this wave? Eight. But most I'll make 8,000 gold from this wave if I set up perfectly. Hmm. Maybe it's worth it. So what's my bounty at now? I think I think I need to play this, like, six-ish times ahead of the boss. Let's, let's give it a try. You know, this is this is this is me on my old shit where I'm trying a bunch of different cards out, trying some crazy stuff here. Upgrade soul expand territory. I need this wall as well. I don't think this is the sort of run where this is the run that has everything I need to have a perfect uh, high score sort of run, except for money. If I had if I had as much money as I need here, which I think I can maybe do, we're against the pyromancer. Okay, so we want to we want to get it rolling right now. Specialize it back, and then we go specialize bounty hunt. Specialize bounty hunt. I'm betting the farm on this. I gotta say, I'm just gonna play it out this many times. Oh, specialize. Did I play specialize wrong there? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, we're getting you know we're getting these. Oh wait, bounty hunt. Wait, it doesn't cap at it doesn't cap at nine 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 anymore. Oh, this is great news. I was under the imp Oh, this is great news. Oh my god. This must have been a stealth change, or I did not understand how Bounty Hunt worked in the past. This card definitely used to cap Bounty at 9... They, they, oh, wow. Okay, it's insane. Thank you, Bounty Hunt. I, like that. I love the art for Bounty Hunt, by the way. Wanted, dead or alive, question mark, and then underneath it just says, weasel. Like that, there are, let me tell you. There are a lot of, a lot of people who fit this description. Or should I say a lot of weasels. So Bounty Hunt's actually nuts. Uh, I could, I, maybe I'll take University. I, this is a, this would be a fun one to do Nightmare Mode on if I had a little more time. University here. So I'm going to... Yeah, I've always thought Bounty was bad because it capped. Turns out it doesn't cap anymore. I wonder when that got changed. Because I'm, I'm like, I would say I'm like 90% certain. I oh, fucked up. That's okay. I'd say I'm about 90% certain of the bounty hunt used to have a cap. Of, of the fact that bounty hunt used to have a cap. God, four space buildings actually suck so much with these rocks. It's so sad. 38, 38. I should be I should be paying to redraw. What am I doing? Okay, we want to specialize mine. Specialize. Glad I got this mine, really. Specialize bounty hunt. We can try and get a little more money out of this. Did I really fuck it up again? I don't know why no, that one doesn't what the fuck is No, I didn't fuck it up. The game pranked me. Alright, I've got twenty six thousand gold. I've got houses, I've got I think I've got everything I need to expand to the edge of the map at this point. 
I think I have all that I could ever need. So let's just set ourselves up. I don't necessarily have all I need. It's not perfect by any means. And if I mess up, it's trouble. I think there should be a merchant showing up soon, right? I think I'm just going to specialize a single wall. I think I'm not gonna wait for the mine here, just, just to get it rolling. Uh, I think I'll take... I have to take wave period. I don't have another choice here. And we'll do some weird wave splitting and, you know. What's happening? Why am I losing units on this side? Oh, because I don't have any shield rats on this side. That's not good. Hey, what happened here? Where, where are all my shield rats? Hey, what's going on? The problem with moving up like this, man. This happens to you sometimes. And this, that could be... If, if this were a different run, that could be run ending. Thankfully this is not a different run, but I lost a lot of population there. I have a lot to do. Uh, we're gonna start making removals. This burst can go. I'm not going skills anymore. Ah, public bath. Public bath gives me a lot of time. Public bath and apartment, they do give me some time. And so we're just gonna utilize this. Oh, and I need a wall as well, please. Thank you. I will specialize, specialize. I'm going to make, this is going to be a long run. I hope that you don't mind. Tell me I have room for this, god. These fucking rocks. A little more time. Cool. I'm not gonna get a lot of time out of this because of these rocks. There's nothing I can really do. Like, this is... Well, I'm missing, like... Oh, and, and also because I put this university in a bad spot. Don't get me wrong. Okay, we need to rebuild the left side. Specialize some banners. Uh, farming score in this game is, I'm gonna say, it, kind of a nightmare. <laughs> it's kind of, on hard, it's kind of awful. Like, I, I'm still, I'm enjoying it because it's a bit of a challenge, but it's also just kind of awful. <laughs> okay. There's punch in my throat. Did you shoot the wrong way? Did you see that? Where'd that arrow go? Where'd that arrow come from? Who shot their arrow the wrong way? I need to put down like 33 population of shield rats real quick. Just to just to eliminate any more fear. Sorry, I bumped the mic there. That's my bad. And let's also let's just specialize out the walls to the edge of the map at this point. I don't want that at all. It's gonna it's gonna delay a little bit, but that's fine. I think this is the last wall. Let's just let's be sure. I think this is the end and then we're at the end of the map here. Perfect, okay. So what we're gonna do here first is we're not gonna walk up to the front wall. We're gonna let them punch through our walls. While I build out. Cause walking up on the enemies like this can be uh, deadly. In the wrong spot. Thank God I took this bounty hunt. Holy shit. Like this has really, this took this run from an, oh that's too bad, we're not gonna get too good of a score on this to hey, this might be, might be a good one. And the worst part is, I think that for whatever reason, the score, the score I get from this run is not going to upload, so like it doesn't even really matter. Some banners over here now. We just we want to get enough banners that we can maybe one shot enemy waves, because they are gonna they're gonna be stacked up like crazy. This is dangerous that I'm doing this, but you know, like they're stacked, and stacking up enemies like this can just run you over. We gotta have high enough damage, which we do, but. Stacking up a wave like this can kill you very easily. Oof, that was a lot of death. Losing a lot of banners to this shit. But it's okay, I put down all these public baths for a reason. To give me a lot more time to deal with things like this. And then we want... I wonder if you can sneak the specialize in? Hang on, let's, let's find out, because if I can do this, this would be a pretty good little piece of tech. But what I think you might be able to do is you might be able to play Specialize and then redraw? No, okay. We got 20 seconds. Might as well take this population, take this money. Uh, it's 
Time to just fill out the entire world. Let's do it. So we go specialize, specialize, and then we go house, specialize all the way to the edge. Specialize house. Just, just say it out so I don't fuck up the order here. We fill every single space with houses. As long as I don't die on this wave, which I will make sure that doesn't happen, this will be pretty much as good as it can get for a score, I'm pretty sure. As long as I'm right on the time assumption and the longer like longer runs are better. Which I'm like almost certain is the case. I'm almost certain that is how it goes. Ugh. God, I hate the desert. I don't hate the desert, I just, you know. It it can be a little frustrating to watch my units uh, all die like this. I almost feel like, it's weird because you want, you want a midline so that you deal with the range, right? The range problem. But you also don't want midline because their midline just gets killed by fire so fast. It's a weird map. What can I delete? I can delete experiments. Specialized house. We have we do have a lot to play. Right? There's a lot of houses to put down. I mean, it's possible that I run out of money. I might need to take a break when the next wave starts and just bounty hunt. If we have this is a this is pretty much the perfect five card hand for what I'm doing here though. I can play out more units if I need to to not die. I can play out houses as long as I have the time, and I can play out uh, bounty hunt if I need money. I don't care about that merchant, by the way. I have one goal. Uh, do I need money? I don't think I need money. As long as I don't die on this way, which I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put faith in my units to not die, so that I can finish out these houses. Now let's bounty hunt a little bit, just a little bit, just a touch. There it is. Sometimes my specialized fucks up because I hover too fast and it delays the draw. There it is, or it delays the re -end. You know the. The specialized animation gets delayed. I, I'm gonna look. Alright, we're fine. It's basically just do I have enough time before the boss spawns. I have 38 seconds. We have time. House. And is, is right side boss. I could die to the spider if I'm not careful. How many, how many shields do we have over here? One. I could die to the spider. I should give myself more time and just move back one. Check. Okay, right side's finished. I just need to finish the left side. Give myself a little more time and just have everyone step back one space. It's a touch, right? It's, it's as fast as I can play these houses. And... Oh, hey, all of my banners are split. That's not a good sign. As fast as I play these houses, and then I just go spam banner rats on whichever side I'm facing the boss on, and it's probably fine. Okay, let me. I'm actually gonna pause. Does it look like I missed anything? Because I think I'm good. Am I good? I think I got it all. I think I got it all. So, specialize. We're gonna specialize banners on the right side here. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna tank this boss by just playing banner rats. That's my strategy right now. Cause I don't- I can't- I can't draw shield right now. Anyway. So I'm just gonna play a bunch of banner rats. I don't- as long as this fire doesn't wipe out my entire army. Well... Well, it doesn't look great, let me tell you. That fire is not looking too good. This is as fast as I can play banners. I just need to do enough damage to split the- or send the boss to run in, right? Yeah. Oh, the big problem is that my guards are out of range of the banner rats, isn't it? That's the big problem here. Like, I can't look away. Yeah, the big problem is that my guards aren't able to see Banner Rat. Ugh. They're not getting the buff. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing any fucking damage. Here. I'm, o I'm only- my only concern- like, I'm not worried about- oh god. <laughs> I'm, my only concern is that you lose score if buildings are destroyed when the run ends. That's all I'm worried about. I, like, I had no fear of this run being a W. We'll see what our score is, though, because I'm- it's all I'm doing now is hunting that score. Looking- I'm looking for- I'm looking for something in, like, the 1730-ish range, right? I think that it'll be... 
this looks fine. Okay, let's see what we got. Could have been a little cleaner, a little cleaner. I think I, what I would change is I would want to do something. I would want to specialize in something other than house to fill out the colony a lot faster. Hey, 1758. Yeah, 89 points on the building bonus though isn't uh, isn't good. Like that's not enough. It should. I think it should be 100. Time bonus 190. I don't know what this. I don't know if this is right. Let's go see where that puts me real quick, and then I will say goodbye. Not bad. I'm actually I'm pretty happy with the 1758 because that's pretty. Pretty high on the leaderboard. It would it would put me if it wasn't for oh hey that would, that would put me right here. Oh uh, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, you know for some reason my scores don't get put up. I haven't figured out why. But yeah, that's a pretty good score. How'd this guy get 1768? I wonder. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave me a like. Subscribe if you would like to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.